guys welcome back to another video today i am going to be doing some stuff but i not squash for christmas so guys you can do this for lunch add it to whatever you you cook you know just a nice little meal so guys I'm gonna be scraping out the seeds from this then I'm going to bake it in the oven so I am removing the plastic So guys, I'm going to be just taking out the seeds from this. I might just try to put these in the garden and see, dry them first and see if they will go. guys I'm just taking out the seeds then I'm gonna bake put the pumpkin in the oven to bake so guys I'm gonna wash and dry my pumpkin off the camera and get them in the oven to bake This is what it looks like when it's all clean out. So I'm gonna just make a little split right here because when it rolls this is I'm gonna be taking out this part of it yeah so guys I'm gonna wash my pumpkin so I'm gonna cut this video then I'll be right back with you guys so guys I've watched my pumpkin my butternut pumpkin so I'm drying them off so I'm gonna put some olive oil in my baking tray And guys, I'm going to pop them in just like that. And I'm going to just put a little bit of sea salt on them. And a little bit of olive oil on the top just to, I don't want to dry out too much. And I'm going to be popping this in the oven when it is finished I will come back to you and continue this video so I'm gonna pop these in the oven so guys I'm going to be stuffing my butternut pumpkin with this chicken mince so in the meanwhile I've done 
some shredded carrot of the camera I'm gonna be using some garlic in it but I am going to cut up this half a onion Guys, I'm cutting up all of this to put in the um the mince seasoning mince because I'm gonna cook the mince up on the stove. I have some crushed garlic in the fridge, but I just prefer to use garlic cloves, fresh cloves, and just add it to my seasoning. So guys, I'm stripping off. garlic so the skin that's the outer part you don't want the dry part in it So guys, I'm going to just put my chicken mince. So let me move away the board. So now you can see the mince. So I'm going to put some all-purpose seasoning on this mince. So guys, all the people want to stay away from salt, because some people will add um, salt in it. You can just use the all-purpose season. This has salt already in it. You don't need to put any salt in them. So guys, I am going to add my chopped up garlic and onion. And I'm gonna add a few bit of rosemary. I've washed my rosemary, picked them freshly from my backyard. So I'm gonna add some rosemary. I'm going to add some 
powdered ginger. Just a small bit of chili flakes, not much. And I've tried that chili flakes already and it is nowhere near hot, nowhere. I'm just going to add a little bit of this grill season. Just a, a dose of this. I'm going to go outside and add some a bit of sage to this. Add a little bit more of the all purpose in here. So guys, I'm going to peel one Irish potato, just one. And I'm going to shred this potato. I was doing some breadcrumbs before with my grater. I've done some breadcrumbs guys, off camera, this is the breadcrumbs, so now I'm going to use the grater, so this is the side I was doing the breadcrumbs on, so I'm going to just shred, So guys, I'm going to add this also. So guys, this is a lovely recipe for Christmas. So guys, I'm going to Cover this up with some cling, cling wrap and leave it to soak and then I'm going to start cooking it up after maybe about half an hour I'll be back with you guys. So guys, my butternut pumpkins are finished so I'm going to let them cool. And then I'm just testing them 
Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna scoop out. Just gonna let some of the eat out. So I'll put these to cool and then I'm gonna start cooking the mince now. So I'm gonna cut the video again and then get back to you. So guys, I'm gonna cook up the mince. So guys, I'm going to add some avocado oil. You can use any beans you like. You can use beef. I was going to use beef, but I just want to just see you try the chicken. guys I am going to add some garlic paste Cut up a small amount of sage, just the leaf. I'm gonna add the sage leaf to it. And I'm going to add my mince. Guys, I'm gonna let this keep moving it around in the pot. So guys, I'm going to cover that for a few minutes. So guys, I've added a little bit of the soya sauce in it, just to give it a little color. I'll add a little more. And a small bit of browning not too much okay don't want it too black so we're gonna move around the chicken mince in the pot
I'm going to be adding a carrot huh? Guys, we're gonna add some pecan nuts. So, guys, I'm adding the pecan nuts. So it's a Christmas dish, so you can add anything you want to add. You can even add cranberry in it. The original recipe has cranberry. guys I'm gonna be adding some spinach leaf just a small amount not plenty So this is the stuffing guys that they use to stuff the pumpkin. So guys, I hope you will follow this recipe. I'll list, list everything in the description box. So guys, this is finished. I'm gonna get ready to stuff my pumpkin. Guys, in this last part, I'm just gonna add a little bit of time. Guys, almost at the end now, and I'm gonna do the filling. I've added a little bit of breadcrumbs. And a small amount of water, not much. So the breadcrumbs put everything together. So when I stuff the pumpkin, it will just all together. Guys, look at that. So guys, I am going to be taking out 
some of this pumpkin not all of it just a small amount of the I'm going to do the same thing over here, not much, just a little part, just a small part of it. And guys, I'm going to pack my mince, my chicken mince. So guys, this is a nice Christmas lunch. You can add this to your table. So guys, I'm doing all of my Christmas dishes because Tony likes he's always requesting them even before time. So I've decided to do this one. If you don't want to scrape out too much because you'll only have the skin of the pumpkin. You want when you cut after I'm gonna put this in the oven for about some people put theirs depends on the size of the pumpkin for 45 but mine my pumpkin is very small so I'll just do 15 minutes. So guys, let me get them a little closer. So this is how you close it. So guys, on the top of my butternut. I put some slices of apple on it. And just glaze it with a small bit of honey. So I'm going to put this in the oven as I mentioned before. And get back to you guys. Guys, this is your butternut. Stuffed butternut, guys. Christmas I'm gonna cut just do a slice when it's cool but I've decorated it already 
guys this is the end of this video don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up and you can try this recipe for Christmas lunch see you in the next video have a great weekend everyone bye for now